Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, all is amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself, I have the garage, is a da'if, a miskeen, a zon, a jahad. But for the grace of Allah that is still in existence, alhamdulillah, in the holy month of Shahwal and all the realities of annihilation. And for science people with the binary code, for the power and qudra of being on and being off and the haqqaiq of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah the most powerful binary code in existence. And alhamdulillah that we went into all these things, inshaAllah we'll turn to our online audience and people whom are watching from home and see what they have and what they have absorbed of these uh, teachings and these realities. And always remember please to comment on the videos that are being posted on the short videos, the long videos and put a synopsis of what you understood from it. So it's nice because then people whom are logging in they can see all the activity and that people actually listening and, and putting a summary. So inshaAllah as wa dress everyone and bless everyone for their efforts. And then to share, share as much as you can, share the app, take from the Laila Khirat, take from the du'as, take from the different sections of the app and begin to share them. For Facebook you can share to message, then you'll see the text, copy and then paste it onto Facebook. And the more that we can share, the more that the app can be spread as people will read it and try to download it. Alhamdulillah this platform then is uh, ever expansive. So it means many more updates are coming, this is just the initial architecture to get out and then all of the upgrades and sub subsequent upgrades, the amounts of salawats that be put on, the hadith books that will be put on and all of the different accessories inshaAllah. So be patient and any suggestions of what should be added compared to other apps that are popular maybe discussion forums, different uh, chats or uh, different bots. So inshaAllah you email inshaAllah at helpme at nurmuhammad.com inshaAllah. What do we have for tonight inshaAllah? As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaikum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, what does one do when fear is stronger than faith? Increase faith inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That that's a part of the meditation, the tafakkur and the contemplation. That is to overcome the fear. And the only way to overcome the fear because that's the arch nemesis of faith. When we have fear it's a, a hole in the energy of faith that I analyze what am I fearing? Is it the death I'm fearing? Well I'm going back to Allah and Prophet fearing poverty, Allah is the one who can give. Uh, whatever the issue of faith then we have to sort of understand it, comprehend it and know that its remedy is with the faith. Whatever issue we have in fear its remedy is with faith and to do our practices that's why the tafakkur is the most powerful weapon against shaitan because you contemplate, you make your connection, you, as soon as you're contemplating you're also making an accounting and a hisab and understanding of every situation. So it's like playing a game or playing a chess game. The game it goes too fast in life if you're not sitting and contemplating. 
to play a chess game against this dunya means that every step you're sitting and contemplating that why I feel like that, what are the issues from that, Ya Rabbi led me to understand why is it that I fear losing my job, why is it fear that I, I'm, my faith is dropping, why is it that I fear what's coming into this world and then by your contemplation and tafakkur and bringing the connection and the energy with the awliya and their heart connected to Prophet by doing the awrads and wazifas and all the practices we begin to develop an immense amount of light and the connection because through that rabita and through that connection is where the fayas and the lights and all of these words that are used in tariqahs when they talk about fayas and emanation and Divine Grace where there's ways to randomly receive Divine Grace and there's ways to initiate the receiving of Divine Grace and that's by taking these proactive steps. There are times you may just be doing anything and all the sense is tajallis upon the servant. But the more important is the one whom is trying to do particular practices to open those realities. So they do their tafakkur, they do their contemplation, they connect with the shaykh, they do their wazifas and awrads and zikrs so that to open the door of that fayas and the emanation and the Divine Grace to dress the servant. And it fills the pockets that are empty, means that if something is empty in, in, in us that causing us a fear then that tafakkur fills that and brings the energy and the light of that reality inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, I feel I have benefited from the month of Shawwal teachings the most. Thank you Sayyidi for the easy to understand and relate to teachings. Many things in life are now based on one and zero. MashaAllah alhamdulillah, I think I learned uh, the most too that as we, as we have an audience we have to understand something that uh, everyone has an understanding of a word differently. Means that when, when we teach humility and everyone has a different understanding of humility based on who they are. So somebody whom is a prince or royalty, their understanding of humility is that you have to come and serve them and they think that's humility because you have to be humble towards them. And when you're trained by a shaykh not born into a shaykh but trained by a shaykh, he teaches you humility is to serve people. So it's very different. Both are saying they're humble because I'm giving you my presence so come and bow down to me. And the other one has been taught as a student that, no I'm supposed to serve people. I go out and serve people. I bring them to the religion, I teach them about the religion, my life is a service. And taught by my shaykh, everyone is better than you. Don't think yourself to be better, it's just the position in which Allah has put you. That you teach, they listen and your service is to teach. For if Allah gave you this and you don't teach then you're an oppressor to these people for why Allah gave it to you. That by your teaching you give them hope, by your teaching you give them an understanding that maybe they don't have access to, they're not going to do what you did and they're not going to gain what Allah has given to you. So it's a way of dispensing what Allah has given to that servant. So their teaching of humility is going to be different. Everyone has from their status a different understanding of humility. That's why in the tariqah that when you're trained as a student by the shaykh it's much different because the shaykh insults you, he yells at you, he puts you down, he'll train you to do things and go places and come complete humiliation. 
and your life is about taking that humiliation, being patient with that humiliation and living a life of service. That you want to, you don't want to, you go out and teach, you talk, you inspire, you motivate and you give hope to people whom you don't want them to become hopeless and move into the hands of shayateen. And then inspire people to have similar lives. So alhamdulillah a great opening for us was the charity. We said before that our charity work is that holy nights would come and we would have a cake and that was very charitable. And then Allah opened for us then to really do charity in which we pick up hundreds of thousands of pounds of food probably monthly now. If you weigh the food in, in five different locations what they're picking up, at least a hundred thousand pounds of food that would go into the trash is being distribu distributed to people. Then thousands of wells a year are being produced for people. The orphanages that are being repaired I think up to six or seven now are continuously maintained by the people by giving the food and the qurban and the meat and all of these distributions, thousands of pounds of this so that all the students have the same understanding. It's not about everybody teaching but understanding faith has to be in action. If your faith is not in action it's worthless, absolutely worthless because Allah describes, we come across a people who prayed and we drag them on their face and throw them out. We came, upon, came across a people whom they paid and they gave and Allah got them and dragged them out. Means there's many a hadith and many teachings like this that Allah comes to actions and throws them. And awliyaullah come from the heart of Prophet to describe, to understand the reality of the action. That it's not that we just want to be rewarded for our salah, that's selfish. Because the praying is good for you but when you prayed and you prayed correctly and you have a sufness in your heart the end result was important. For Allah the, your shahada was is not a, 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 a ground shaking event. So go to the five pillars of Islam and look to them and say, which one of them do you think really impresses Allah your shahada that you accepted Allah, He didn't need you to accept Him or not. You came to salah, well, good for you, you became wise that you should be praying to the one whom, who made you and owns you. That your zakah was a cleaning for you, it doesn't, in, doesn't give anything to Allah because you're giving zakah to each other because a brother should take care of his brothers and sisters, how, how you can sleep when other children are hungry and other people are hungry, you won't solve hunger but you have to be written that you did something for it. And then after all of that you, you go for hajj, alhamdulillah you went first class, you went middle class, you stayed in huge hotels, nobody gets a tent in the middle of the desert to do hajj. So we did everything luxurious for ourselves. And then what? We prayed our Ramadan and we ate a lot at night and slept in the day. So our, our, our pillars are not so exciting for Allah But in the end of doing all of that and continuously in our life that we do these pillars, we should have become somebody soft and caring in which those pillars open for us. Say, Ya Rabbi you gave me all these opportunities to worship you. Grant my life to be of service, that I want to help people, I want to give food to people, I want to be to service of my shaykh to complete his mission to do what he has to do. And so we live a life, we find a way to serve. And this is a great accomplishment for our team and they wear the logo, it's not at all Naqshbandis, we're not one, we're not definitely not, not one group but for the SMC team because of the shaykh's teachings and the example that they're setting is that you live a life of service and put your faith in action and alhamdulillah for all those whom are putting their faith in action. Now you come to the da'wah 
and supporting da'wah. If you can't make flyers all day long and you can't do the teaching all day long, at least support the organization that's doing that. So again the shaykh could just sit and say, you know I got everything I need, I don't need to do anything. Why do I have to tell them this is this month and this is the urs, this is the shahadat, hello this is the rajab, uh, this is the, the du'a for this. Why is the shaykh doing all of that? Because he's, he was trained to live a life of service. So the app comes and teaches you that open up an Islamic app today and see that there's at least 10,000 ads because they want to monetize their app. Our app has no ads, just our own organization, our own charity and our own store. And that app cost about a hundred thousand dollars to develop and that's by our teams giving their support and making it to happen. Again a sign of faith in action. So when the shaykh does it right and he was rightly guided to this path in which to live a life of service. If all that you gained in your salah, your zakah, your shahada didn't put you into service it was worthless. Because Allah doesn't need the prayers, He doesn't need the money, He doesn't need the hajj that people are making. What He needed was servants who would serve the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and why? Because it raises the honour of Prophet the image of the honour because nobody can raise it. The honour of Prophet Allah has raised that. But put into the eyes of the people that this is the best of nations. Look how they take care of each other, look how they, they worshipness open for them to be such good servants, caring servants. So we said before the proof is in the pudding, anyone sitting on a couch doing absolutely nothing and complaining about the organization, well inshaAllah Allah inspire them to do better. You know make 10,000 wells from our 2500 wells, give hundreds of thousands of pounds of food versus our 100,000 pounds of food. So means the, you, you have now a benchmark, if you people can beat it then you're welcome to it. If not stay quiet because whatever is being done people are actually putting their faith in action and the results are in the pudding, whatever we see. So we don't have to, to say much, it's already there. The websites should start to track that. So somebody can help Mati to make sure that the website, the charity sites has to have a tracker. Maybe Jibreel can, can give information because you should be able to go to the website and every day see how many wells were made, how many thousands of pounds were given out that day because we have the statistics, we know what the monthly average of the pickups are so that people can see. Every day they can count and see there's a counter going and you see how many thousands of pounds were picked up again this year to date. How many thousands of uh, meals were given out in Ramadan, how many wells are being made on a daily basis. These are the important things so that the students they live the life like the shaykh in which they keep serving, serving until at the end you say, Alhamdulillah and you return back to Allah Without that our deen and our faith becomes stale. If you worship just for the sake of your own worshipness Allah doesn't need it, no one needs it, you be the first ones to leave this earth. Only purpose to remain upon this earth now is to serve the nation and serve the nation through the tribulation and difficulty that is about to come upon the earth. And if not for a, a warner and a warning then this nation would have been left alone but Allah it's the best of nations from paradise. So Allah leaves those to warn and to prepare that these difficulties that are coming that they won't be left alone and that's the purpose of these guidance, that's the purpose of this app. The app had 40,000 users worldwide. When it did our stats and we were looking there were pockets of people everywhere and we could see exactly where people are ringing in from. So the places even they don't like us or they pretend not to like us, 80 people are logging in, 40 people are logging in. So alhamdulillah this is not about a pro pop popularity, this is about the da'wah 
and the necessity of service that people need the information, this information saves them and keeps them to be connected especially in the last days. So alhamdulillah Allah grant us in Surah Allahu Nasan Aziza that through every difficulty and obstacle the only one who can plow through everything in Surah Allahu Nasran Aziza. Ya Surah Allahu Nasran Aziza. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.